In this video, I will be providing you with a method that you might be able to use if you have open web 2x4 type floor trusses and the top of the cord has been damaged or you have something like this where the top cords have separated from the plate that is connecting the two pieces together. And this is actually why I'm making the video one of our viewers has a problem like this when it should actually look something like this on the top and like this on the bottom. And I think the first thing I want to mention is that you need to try and figure out what caused the problem to begin with and that you might need to consult an engineer to figure out if this type of repair will actually work on your project. Now, the first thing I want to point out is that you are going to have truss connectors like this that will not be in the way of our repair and that will be on both sides of the support webbing brace here. However, that might not be the case over here because we're going to need to attach a block to the bottom of the top cord. And for those of you perfectionists who might need to shape the block and get it in here, then you might need to bend the teeth back or remove them somehow. However, do this very carefully because any vibration to the truss plate connector could actually loosen the teeth and create even bigger problems and this is probably the reason why you're going to need to stay away from this even though you might be tempted to do it and this isn't how I saw it done anyway it was done like this it stopped at the plate and I'm almost positive the reason for that is what I mentioned earlier because the last thing the engineer is going to want you to do is to shove a block in here and loosen up any of the connectors and I don't think I would try to force this back up if this piece of lumber is deformed I would simply take this block and notch around it However, since I'm not an engineer, you would need to consult with your engineer to figure out if that's a good or a bad idea. And the board we're going to be installing will be a 2x4 that's going to be at least 6 feet long. So make sure that your blocks are at least 3 feet away from the center on each side. And for those of you who are really paying attention, now might be a good time that while I was reading some of the engineers' comments about this type of repair, there were a variety of different things that they needed to take into consideration. And that's going to be the length of the entire truss, the height of the truss, the design of the truss, the thickness of the truss. Is it going to be a 2x4, 2x6, or something smaller or larger? And the damage done to the truss and how much the truss might be sagging. And the reason why I'm pointing that out now is because the blocking and the length along with the size of the materials used might need to be larger or smaller. And this next point I cannot stress enough. Try to find a piece of lumber that is select grade, construction standard lumber, and make sure that the wood is dry enough. You do not want to use a wet piece of lumber on this repair. And another thing that was mentioned on the repair was that all of the pieces will need to be glued and nailed. However, they did not mention any type of product. And this might be something that you should have your engineer specify along with the exact type of nail and spacing and distance that might be required in any fashion. For example, here we have the nails going into the center of the top cord and the center of our blocks. And they're located about three quarters of an inch away from the end and then four inches on center and staggered a little bit. But how much do they need to be staggered? Should this one start at two inches and then this one here at four inches and then we go two inches away for the bottom one? And the reason why I'm mentioning this, especially to those of you who don't know much about these types of repairs. Let's just say that I don't hire an engineer and I say, hey, this guy knows what he's doing. This is a great idea. And then you do the repair only to find out later that you cannot remove the lumber and do this repair again because you have already damaged the top cords from all of the nails that you used. And now the entire truss needs to be replaced or you need to do another repair that's going to require a lot more work 
and materials. So with that said, I will go ahead and wrap this video up and suggest also that this repair here that we did to the top cord will be similar to the repair if the bottom cord is damaged also.